April the 27th, 1994, we vote as equals for the first time. It was a glorious day. So many people remember that. People who felt they'd never vote in their lifetimes. And people from the white community who were terrified. Democracy will be the end of us. And finally it was peaceful, it was disciplined, it was organized, it was free and fair. People could campaign. I mean, giving the interview now, almost 20 years later, we have very, very heavy problems in South Africa. Many inherited the structures, systems of apartheid, the mentalities that went with it. But many we've created ourselves. Uh, I often say that we've shot ourselves in the foot so often we've run out of feet to shoot ourselves in. We can't blame that on apartheid. But we've got that constitution. We've got the framework in which people can claim their rights, speak freely. We have a very lively investigative press. And if there are any threats to the press, you'll know within seconds because the press will tell you. And that's good. We have a strong independent judiciary that rules for government sometimes, against government, for the ANC, against the ANC, for big powerful commercial groups, against big powerful commercial groups. It's been a great privilege and honor and intellectual delight for me to have been on the first constitutional court established in 1994 after the first democratic elections to ensure that the constitution, this document we had invested our lives in, in creating, would be meaningful in protecting the institutions of our, our new democracy. And I think I can fairly say it's become internationally recognized as one of the great courts in the world. And it plays a very meaningful role in South African society. People say, I'll take you all the way to the constitutional court. It's another whole story that belongs to another interview on, on another occasion. But what it boils down to is that the achievement of constitutional democracy goes well beyond simply destroying the institutions of racist power. They have to be replaced by democratic institutions that work, and that work in a way that's fundamentally fair and allow for freedom for the people who are protected by the Constitution. People protest and argue and complain, but they compete through the electoral system. They use the media. They use cultural expression. There are very serious debates inside the ruling party. Uh, it's a lively, vibrant democratic society in that sense. We have massive unemployment. We have crime at levels that have come down, but still unacceptable. Race still plays an enormous role in our society. And unfairness is still, to a large extent, connected with race. Heavy, heavy, heavy. But the mechanisms for responding, for challenging, for contesting, for dealing with these issues are, I believe, quite firmly entrenched. 